Also, what did the librarian back me up here? What the hell is going on with I was poisoned? There's a new trend. People start, they used to post pictures of the food that they thought poisoned them. And admittedly, sometimes it was poison. Like it was an, a raw chicken breast or something like that they got from a restaurant. Now they post a receipt of what they bought. And I'm like, that shit does not, I, if I was the restaurant owner, I might actually send them like a cease and desist in the mail. You can't just post the receipt of the food that you bought and be like, this poisoned me. That's not why we're following the account. Post a picture of the thing that you think poisoned you. Like, I, okay, there's proof that you bought a salad from Sweet Leaf or something like that, but where's the proof that the salad fucking poisoned you beyond, you know, source I made it up? But I was like, I wanted to go off on the tweet. Because when they posted the receipt, the salad was 19 bucks. By the time they got to their door, it was 31 bucks. And I said, brother, you didn't just get poisoned. You got poisoned and you got robbed. So what? You're not threatening to sue over a receipt? Um, if I owned that place, I would also have my... I would have passed the bar. So I would... It would honestly be pro bono. You don't know what I would do. You don't, you don't know how insane I am. You don't know how mentally ill I am. Yeah, post more blurry photos of diarrhea, please. That's why I'm following the account. Like, you know, it's not that I find it pleasant to see. I just find it funny to see. It's two very different emotions. No, I like when they post the food. But the, the best I was poisoned reports, it's always like, I ate this thing, it made me sick, and then I went back for more the next day, and now I'm violently throwing up. That's the dream, man. More of those, please. Diarrhea is already blurry. Honestly? I never really thought about it that way. That's a damn good point. Switch topic, please. This is just like, you know what, it's sine to nerdle. We have to do this once per stream. I talk about diarrhea every stream. Then someone says, why are you talking about diarrhea? And then I say, why are you still here? Some people are allergic to vibes, bro. They always got to throw the vibes off. I don't get it. I would honestly say, one of my great skills, maybe it could keep me alive during like a post-apocalyptic situation. I am a vibe respecter. Maybe not respecter, let's call it preserver. I am good at preserving the vibe that exists in a situation when I'm introduced to it. Some people are vibe enhancers. Some people are vibe destroyers. I'm a vibe preserver. If I show up and you're uh, eating edibles and listening to Thievery Corporation, I'm not going to blow that up for you. If you show up and you're listening to LMFAO and taking shots, I'll preserve the vibe. Status quo Andy? We, when it comes to vibes, sure. What if you became part of a cannibal cult? I would, I would preserve the vibe. I'm just, I mean, it's just me being true to myself. Many of you would preserve the vibe too, but you're just too cowardly to admit it. My ass is not getting eaten because I want to like be self-righteous in that situation. I would rather be alive. But like the whole, I wouldn't, I would tell myself, despite the effects being the same, I would tell myself I'm better than the other cannibals. Because I would be like, oh, they're doing it because they want to. I'm only doing it because I have to. I would probably rise through the damn ranks too. I would be like, that guy looks delicious. <laughs> Because if I'm going to eat a person, I want to be like high up on the totem pole. I don't want to have to eat any like human organ meat. I think, if me personally, if I had to choose, I would say probably like the thigh. I'd have to imagine the thigh would be close to the best. Brain? It's not my cup of tea. I'm not a sweet bread Zandy. Butt cheeks? Um, maybe. Maybe. I mean, it is, it's the largest muscle group in the human body, right? There's gotta be some marbling down there as well, for most people at least. Ribs? It's cra- I mean, this is too much. This- it's funny, the diarrhea stuff, I don't really care if people are like, this is gross. But I'm a- despite not being vegetarian, I'm a vegetarian respecter. I'm like, this must suck to hear if you don't like eating meat and you find that disgusting. I, I'd like to apologize out there for talking about stuff that you could buy in the grocery store. Anyway, I was taking a big old diarrhea dump and, you know, the callus on my brown eye was meh, meh, meh. Vibe preserves. But I was gonna say, it's crazy that like ribs taste amazing on every animal that I've ever had rib meat on. They really broke the mold at the butcher shop with that one. Chicken? 
I've had, I don't know if I had chicken ribs. I'm trying to think, I've had like chicken. Yeah, no, you know what? Of course I have. A Swiss Chalet, back me up, VIP Daniel. If you get a quarter chicken with the breast, you're getting some ribs. The chicken ribs are not all that, but could be worse. I'm getting one of my ribs removed this week. This hits close to home. Uh, info, are you Marilyn Manson? Or is this like actually a serious medical concern? In which case, I apologize. I didn't know they, they, they were in there, like, removing ribs. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't know that that's something that's, that's done, I don't want to say routinely. I, think, I mean, as with everybody else talking right now, the only time I had ever heard about it was the urban legend that Marilyn Manson got one of his ribs removed so that he could suck himself off. Which, if so... That plastic surgeon should uh, lose their license and also receive a medal. Because that just seems irresponsible, but also kind of sick. Like, that's... If, <laughs> if nothing else, it really shows you how far humanity has come, you know? We went from fighting saber-toothed tigers just to, like, keep our species alive... And now they're like, oh yeah, no, sorry, I can't do Saturday. I'm having my ribs removed so that I can suck myself off. Like, that's, you've, you've conquered this planet at that point, I guess. Yes, uh, hi, my name's uh, Dr. Avis, uh, rent a car, um, is a maiden name, of course. Uh, yeah, I specialize in a unique form of plastic surgery. It's a, a dorsal rib removal for the service of my patients to uh, suck themselves off and come in their own mouths. So for that, I had to, of course, I did my undergrad, and then I took my MCATs, and I did, you know, general uh, studies in my MCATs, and then I, uh, you know, I, my grades were good, so I got into plastic surgery, which is very competitive, and then I apprenticed for uh, 17 years under uh, Dr. Otto Fellatio, and then uh, now I've opened my own practice, which is an inspiring story. Dr. Otto Fellatio, I'm dead. Baldur's Gate 3 really won game of the year when Spider-Man 2 gameplay is like this. Video of Dr. Octopus sucking himself off to completion. All it took... Uh, Macros, I know you're a VOD watcher now. I'm so back, okay? I had been one of Baldur's Gate 3's uh, biggest haters simply because it's funny. Now I'm back on the side of the Baldur's Gate enjoyers because the tweets from the Spider-Man enjoyers are way more annoying. Baldur's Gate brought me back. Now, should it have won Game of the Year? No, it's well known that Lies of P got robbed in every possible way. 